back. This time, forever. <laughs> we had to take it back from the customer, we just give the money back. Uh, she only had it a month and a half. Um, I will be start by saying subscribe and don't buy BMWs. Just don't. Just, just run away. Run as far as you can. <laughs> they, they cause so much bloody issues. And I mean, not all of them. Don't get me wrong. BMWs are nice cars. I love them. Personally, I like them. I love them. I used to own a few. Uh, <clears throat> they have their issues, same as Mercedes. They are premium cars you expect for problems to, to, to appear. But not on this level, because this crap it's got a Peugeot engine in it, which the same engine you can find on uh, Mini Coopers and uh, Citroën THP and all that family of whatever, you know. Uh, 116i, uh, it's got a 1.6 inline 4 petrol engine, turbo, built by Peugeot, yeah. There is no BMW on it, nothing, just, it's not, it's just rubbish engines, completely rubbish. Fair enough, it's... 120,000 miles, you know, so you expect for some problems to appear, but giving the fact that we did all the maintenance on this car, so we uh, did a head gasket on it, uh, then we discovered that the crank seal was leaking oil, so we fixed that one up, we put a new timing chain in, we put new spark plugs, we replaced everything we could, yeah, some auxiliary water pump was leaking, so all that stuff, yeah. Customer was happy, she wanted the car, she wanted it fixed, she agreed to, with us to fix it. At that moment, we were left, just a few pennies left in the car anyway. Now, another month in the ownership, the car just started just idling unevenly and just driving like hell and just blowing smoke and stuff like that. So, I don't know what happened. Uh, we tried to put it to the warranty. Of course, third party warranties will not do anything will not do anything for you. <laughs> um, <coughs> so they rejected any any claim, whatever, any claim. They just rejected it. They said, no, it's too high mileage and we don't want to touch it. And bye. Now, so we've been there to see the car. And uh, on the diagnostic machine shows that it's got like timing chain issues again. But this is uh, definitely is nothing wrong with the chain because everything all the sprockets and everything they're brand new inside you know it only drove, drove 1000 miles and it failed completely again so at this moment we said you know what uh we're gonna give you the money back take the car and we'll see what we're gonna do with it obviously she wasn't quite happy about it she was i mean the car is amazing for the spec and everything is lovely yeah drives amazing but uh it seems to be having a low oil pressure at the moment you know which i haven't heard for the oil pumps to fail on this and have like oil pressure issues and stuff like that you know but i don't know but yeah run away as far as you can yeah this one's the f20 bmw i think the f20 is this one um yeah don't buy them this is lovely spec this one it's like uh i don't have the keys with me <laughs> Uh, Urban spec, it's got the wheels, the nice wheels, it's got the uh, leathers and everything inside, heated seats, uh, self-leveling headlights and everything, so yeah, it's in really good condition, but it's gonna, oh my god, no, <laughs> you'll not get your money back. I had one series before, like 120D and stuff like that, we sold them, no problems with it, but mate, no way, this, this piece of crap engine is just horrible, so at this moment I'm thinking maybe but we, we lost money on it anyway. We're going to lose money on it. I don't know if it makes any sense to fix it and sell it again or just send it to auction as it is, get some money back on it, and that's it. You know, I would rather lose money than have more headaches with this kind of crap. Simple as that, you know, because an engine is about 2000 you know, If I buy a new engine and fix it or send it to auction, it's going to sell probably for two and a half, three thousand. 3000 It's the same thing, you know. So... I would rather just sell it as it is for whatever can go. Simple as that. Yeah, um, I'm getting ready to go into my holiday. Um, I'll be posting some videos. Uh, they're already finished up and they will just be, they are, they are uploaded already. They will come up maybe during the next week. And uh, yeah, we couldn't buy any cars lately. Uh, yard is nearly empty. So we had a i20 here, which I painted. Um, 
this one is sold, needs to be pick up, picked up on Wednesday. Uh, the Mini, we replaced the diff, drives fantastic now. We had an inquiry on it as well, so might be might be sold finally in a few days. Um, Citroën, I painted it and everything, so you saw the previous video. Uh, had an inquiry on it, just waiting for the customer to see if they will decide and come to come and have a look. They were kind of trying to play the price over the phone. I said we don't discuss the price over the phone. And I don't really willing to negotiate anyway. And uh, here it is, the uh, Ford. I think it's everything locked. Is it? Yeah, locked. Um, Two nine nine five. One thousand pounds paid on it. Um, it's been repaired. All the paint work and everything looks great. No problems with the paint now. It's clean inside. It cleaned up quite well, to be honest, for the agent mileage. Uh, polished up the headlight here. Everything is fine with it now. I mean, for the mileage, to be honest, I'll be very fair. It drives really well. But I just listed it for sale for 2995, uh, stating that due to the aging mileage, there's no warranty on anything provided with the car. So uh, we already have to inquire this one. So probably it's going to be, will sell soon, you know, because it's, it's cheap. Everyone wants cheap cars. And I, I think, I don't think the mileage is quite an issue anymore as long as the car is under 3,000 or under 2,000. I think they, this will sell without any problems. So yeah, this will be a quick video for the for this week. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and uh, see you guys soon because I have a lot of videos coming about a lot of stuff happening. You know, so a lot of stuff will be happening around with the business and everything. And uh, yeah, hit up that subscribe button and see you with the next one. Take care.